Good morning children. Today we shall learn about open and closed figures. First, what are curves and what are straight lines? We already know this is a straight line and this is a curve or you can say curved line and if we see what are curves when we draw lines on a piece of paper without lifting pen or a pencil and without using a scale or a ruler we get the shapes which are called curves so these are the curves now these are examples of certain curves and what is the similarity between these these curves do not cross themselves and they are called simple curves and what about these these curves cross themselves so they are not simple curves now if we are given three matchsticks and asked to make certain figures then what do we get let's see these are the different shapes using three matchsticks Is there any difference between these figures? Let us see. So this figure can be drawn this way. This figure can be drawn this way. And this figure can be drawn this way. What do we see? All these figures do not begin and end at the same point. See? it begins here but it ends here the end points are different same here the end points are different and here also it's the same the end points are not same such figures which do not begin and end at the same point are called open figures or open curves now let us see this figure if we see this figure begins and ends at the same point we started from here and it ended here itself or we could start from any other point from here and it will again end here only such figures which begin and end at the same point are called closed figures or closed curves so a rectangle or this is a five sided figure which is called a pentagon or this is a six sided closed figure which is called a hexagon all these are closed figures as they begin and end at the same point now are these closed figures how can we say that if we see this figure begins and ends at the same point this figure also begins and ends at the same point this figure also begins and ends at the same point and same with this figure so all these figures begin and end at the same point hence all of these are closed curves or closed figures we can say now all of these are closed figures is there any difference between these comparing these two this is made of line segments and this as we can see is made of curves but 
there is one similarity they do not cross themselves hence they are called simple closed curves or simple closed figures and coming to this it is not a simple closed curve as this figure crosses itself now we know what is a closed figure so what are the different parts of a closed figure let us see that so this is a closed figure and we know this is the outline of the closed figure which is called boundary and the part lying inside the boundary is called the interior part of the figure and the part which lies outside the boundary is the exterior part which does not belong to the figure so these were the three parts of the closed figure the boundary the interior part and the exterior part you know the interior of a closed figure along with its boundary so this is the boundary it is called region so region means the boundary and the interior part both are included when we talk about the region of a closed figure now let us see the location of points with reference to a closed figure this is point a and since it is lying outside we can say point a is exterior point this is the boundary of the figure and point b lies on the boundary of the figure hence it can be said point p lies on the curve or on the figure now the last point point c it lies inside the curve or you can say it lies inside the closed figure so we can say point c is interior to the closed figure you know this is the same kind of reference which we use during play for example tennis so this is the tennis court and the yellow border is the boundary or you can say it is the court line now if we talk about the position of the ball with reference to this court line then here we can say the ball is inside the court line and now the ball is here we can say the ball is outside the court line and lastly here we can say the ball is on the court line so this is how we decided the position of ball with reference to the court line so remember children what is an open figure or open curve when the figure does not begin and end at the same point we call it an open figure or an open curve same way what is a closed figure a figure which begins and ends at the same point is called a closed figure or a closed curve and lastly remember there are three parts of a closed figure this is the outline or the boundary of the closed figure then this is the interior of the closed figure and this part which lies outside the figure is called the exterior part so that was all about closed figure and open figures bye bye children